Good morning and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium. Let's make sure we got a volume on that. <clears throat> Good morning and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for February the 2nd, 2020. I'm Mom and it's just me today because it's among godly hours, 5.36 in the morning here in <coughs> the antithesis of sunny Chicago. Meaning it's pitch black. Because it's still the middle of winter, of course it's pitch black here. So I thought I'd go over the... Um, Omega particle uh, game today because a lot of people were kind of asking how the heck you do it, which which I know sounds really stupid. You just move the thinky and you're there, right? Right. Um, the I think the bigger question is how the heck do you hit at least two thousand every single time, which is how you can maximize your results. And excuse me while I drink some coffee. So I'm going to grab a tune here. It hasn't done it for a while. Let's yeah, let's grab Kefka. My Kaiti and Kitty Kitty. And we'll go pick up the mission. And of course she's on Kabali Prime. Well, the easiest thing in the world, obviously, is to get back to Q to pick up the mission, which you can do by going to the event on your overall map. Hit join. And let's see if it takes us. Yep. It should take you straight over to Q. And it does. And we're going to pick up the daily mission. To do this for points, there's a 20-hour cooldown, but you can run this on every tune every 20 hours. You don't get the daily event reward, but you do get the Omega rewards, which could be the emotes. It could be a uh, party popper. There's a party box, or you can pick up the lithium. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you what to get with your prices. That's up to you. <coughs> yeah, it's early morning. So I need to stabilize three particles, one at Wolf 359, one at Starfleet Academy, and one at Deep Space K7, which is pretty good today because a lot of times you'll get two in Beta Quadrant and one in Alpha, which gets a little tedious. Not that you can't do it easily. So beam down to Starfleet Academy because that's where our first one is. And now we need to find the particle. Sometimes easier said than done. Here at the Academy, there's usually not a lot that are easily found, so that's when you use your scan. And it's over here. Since it's not visible, it's probably inside of the building. There it is. And there's often several here, but there may not be a lot. Drozana has a lot of them. Okay, the trick here is to use your mouse and not your keys. And you're just going to rest the mouse over the arrow here. And imagine it's in a track, a vertical track. And all you're doing is rolling. Don't click, don't do anything. Just try and catch them. Look where it's coming up and try to be there just a moment ahead. It's okay sometimes to grab it at the last second. It may or may not pick up, but it's it does happen where you can pick it up where it's already started to pass through. Whoops, see, I missed that one. And those two. Oh well, it's early morning. There are many particles yet to be captured. Okay, 1950, not a great result, but it's doable. Oh, I should have gone back and looked at that. I got two red Omega traces and one sliver. That's the equivalent of four. The um, You have to remember that a sliver is worth a three. Traces, and it's also imagining that uh, you've saved some time because that's a sliver you don't have to make. So the next one we're going to go do is pick up one at Wolf 359. So let's go beam up. Oops. Let's try that again. Up into the Vulcan sector. Let's see if we can't do better. No, the coffee has not hit the bloodstream yet. So it'll obviously be highlighted in yellow. Not a long trip over here to Wolf 359. Wolf 
One thing to bear in mind is check to make sure whether these are in space or on the ground. There's a few locations, Drozana, um, K7, uh, Starbase 239, where they could be on the base, they could be in space, and you have to make sure you get the right one. One thing I like to do is pull this away from these stabilized omega, part omega particles that show up in the middle of your screen, because if they overwrite that, then it gets hard to focus on it. So let's see if I can't do better this time. Missed one again. It does increase in speed as the game goes along, so you kind of have to keep a... F don't try to get too rhythmic. Don't try and count it out or set a pattern to it. There is no pattern. It's random. Go with the flow. Okay, so 2600. That one's a little bit better. If you are working on collecting a lot of particles, this is a great zone to stay in in space because you can sit here and you can play all four of these and you'll stay frozen in place until you get as many as you want. In a case like Balkan, Wolf 359, um, anywhere it's just located in space, there's no ground option, you can sometimes just sit in a place for a long time and they will continue to spawn. I'm not showing off. I've got about 6,000 at the moment, of which I've purchased a large number while they were still purchasable. I don't think that's dishonorable. It's just the way it is. I've got a real life. I'm sad that they decided not to make them purchasable after this year. So we don't have Jens with us. Excuse me, we don't have uh, other players with us today because, as I said, it's first thing in the morning. Which you know, kind of nice. We can focus on this today. All right, we're going to go to K7. And where the heck is K7? Oh, there it is, way down there. So let's say you don't want to go all the way through space. There's a couple of things you can do. Drizana is close by. You can pick up a mission to use that as the jump to Drizana. You could go to Ryza and uh, transwarp there. I'm going to use Drizana because you can do that with ex without expending any of your transwarp energy. So we're going to pick up that mission that's closest. It's an available mission. What lies beneath? Hail it. It's clear that accept the mission. And now we can do a direct jump without wasting our transwarp time. If I'd opted to go to Ryza, it would have taken however long my transwarp cooldown is afterwards. And now we're in Drazana. So now what we need to do now is back up here to K7. And while we're jaunting over to K7, let's see what we've got. Repair hull in space, defeat Tholians on the ground, and Tetrion damage. None of which syncs up with anything else at the moment, so I'm not too worried about that. It's a long day. I still haven't done Days of Doom. Days of Doom. 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 And I have not played the new missions. That's why we're going to do a playthrough today. Okay, K7 is also in space. K7 does have a ground option, so double check. There's been a number of times where I've gone to Jasana, picked one up in space, and it hasn't given me the um, audio alert that I've made the accomplishment before I realized that, oh, I just wasted time. So sometimes, like K7, I'm only seeing one, two that are visible at the moment in space. There's three, four. No, thank you. I don't need to dock. And it'll stabilize the particle. You can just click on F7 or on seven rather. Again, I'm going to pull it over here so this doesn't pop up in the middle of my screen while I'm doing this. Let's see if I can get 27 this time.
would say you need to use your peripheral vision on this, but you need to be aware of all the positions on the screen and see what's coming up. And don't try and fight it, just go with it. And there's our 27. Yay! Again, we've only gotten four traces. When you get 2100 and higher, you will get a random award sometimes. That might be a shard. Uh, which is the equivalent of 9. That's just a random reward. It is not because you did 2,700 points. Okay, does this tune have, <coughs> does this tune have a party horn? I already picked up all of the emotes. This tune does not have a party horn. So let's go ahead and salvage a spot there. And we'll get a party horn. We'll get the dilithium next time. Alright. So we are done with the mission for the day. This tune uh, still has, uh, my tunes in total have 20 hours before they can get the reward again. You have 20 hours until you can repeat this mission. I have 11 tunes, that means I can actually run this 11 times per day. Because I have nothing else to do. No, that's not true, I have lots else to do. So I'm not going to run this 11 times. Especially not today. Today is February the 2nd? February the 3rd? This is saying February the 2nd. Is it really February 2nd? Yes, it is. That's right. My brain's not working. Um, which means, of course, we have a sporting event to pay attention to this afternoon, which is the Puppy Bowl. Because I do not watch football. I mean, it's nice when the Bears are doing okay, but that's been a long time. I was new to the Star Fleet Strike Group as a fleet when the Bears were last in the... Uh, whatever it's called, Super Bowl. And they were just horrible. And I was more interested in playing the game, but I'd run over, check the score, groan miserably, come back and play the game. The game was more fun. Am I in my Kitean? I'm in my Kitean. So we're going to go clean some of the junk out of here. Jump back up to Salt to do that. Because in theory, there should be some rewards from doing the new episodes, and I want to have some clean space. And yes, there are particles floating around space dock. There's particles around DS9. DS9 can actually be a really good spot, but every now and then the particles will leave being at DS9 and they'll go off into space somewhere. And so you kind of have to chase them about almost every 10 minutes they move. Might as well pick up the off mission over here. I have been very lax in doing all of my dilithium lately. And I've been extremely lax in doing upgrades to my ships this weekend. By the way, you'll notice there's a particle right over there as well. I'll show you where there's one more particle frequently, but not always. Let me sell off some of my equipment here so I've got some space. see what I've got that I want to sell. Da, 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 da. Yeah, might as well sell that. See if there's anything else there. Some junk. Let's go make a little bit of space here. We'll take those guys. Go throw some stuff in the bank so we've got some room in our inventory. Thank you. Okay, so I was saying I've got a few particles that I've either purchased or already earned. And we'll add these to it. 
I'm not in any hurry to um, turn them into anything because obviously I'm sitting on a few Omegas in here. Just a few. And let's see if we've got some space. That should be in there. That should be in there. I pool my Infinities and my Kelvins, and now with the Borg ones, I tend to pool those as well. Just to keep space, everybody winds up having too much stuff here otherwise. Put my Borgs over there. Okay. And let's see if we have some space in here. Da -da 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 -da. We'll go move those guys out. Plenty of stuff there. Oh, yes, my tunes need stuff. Hold on a second. He doesn't need that. Out, darn you, out. Darn, darn, are the two we need? And Lita, give Lita some. Alright, so let's think about better options here. What do we need? Since we're going into a new fight and we don't know what they are, or what's going to go on, let's give Lita the Ophidian Cane. Dara's got... Uh, Dara does not need two sets of triples. I'm sorry. We do not need triples. We do not need that. What would we like instead? I've got some space. We do not need coal. We do not need that. We do not need that there. Right. Yes, I know. These are not the best equipped tunes out there. But they do a fine job. They know what they need to do. We trust them. Let's go ahead and mail myself all this stuff. I have one tune that does all the triple breeding. So that tune gets all of the triples and all of the food. So one way to keep it out of my inventory. Let's see what the ship's got. Ship's yeah, I like the Kentari. There we go, we'll change that out. Do I have... I'd rather have that there than Kalos. Okay. So I'm good enough for the moment. I've got some room in my inventory, not a ton, but enough. I've got some heels in there, but not a ton, but enough. Not that I'm going to need them for this. Let's take a quick peek at something here. Anything else we can move out of there? Yeah, I should set up a bunch of ships with all this equipment. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> One of these days, maybe. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up these new missions, which I have not played yet. And under the... are they under Jaula? Age of Discovery... They're not under anything. Okay, so we're going to pick them up off the new ones. So the first one's Measure of Morality, which I have not played. Okay, play now. There we go. The last thing they picked up before that happened was a Borg scout ship. I'm heading to Trailers now to investigate. If this is the beginning of a new Borg incursion, I could use some backup. Meet me there as soon as you can. So we're off to Trailers in the Beta Quadrant to investigate the anomaly. We'll accept that. And we're going to use the transwarp from here, which is nice. 
so you don't have to beam up and transwarp. It will do it all as one step for you. Or maybe even move you directly there, depending on whether it wants you or your ship there. And here we go. While that's loading, I'm just going to check to make sure we're going good. Oh, in the top of my mission journal. Thank you very much. Can we get a coffee emote pie? Can you make me a coffee emote? For my morning things? Coffee, coffee, coffee. Thanks for coming. Been a while. You look well. Considering what I hear about your exploits, that's an impressive feat. Back to business. Spotting a Borg scout here made a lot of people nervous, and with good reason. So, some old friends called in a favor, and here I am. I came here looking for Borg, but the real problem turned out to be sabotage. Orion smugglers fouled up the long-range array, but they left the short-range sensors intact. I have plenty of evidence from the sensor logs to turn over to Alliance officials. Still a concern. If they're sizing up this quadrant as an incursion zone, we need to know about it. I have a few ideas on upgrading the sensor arrays, making them harder to disable and better at spotting Borg. Beam me over and we can sort out the details. Was it me, or were there two distinctly different recording sounds to that? One where she's much more uh, close to you, and the second where she's sounding like she's coming over. We'll get more subs by. Anyway, uh, it sounds like it was recorded at two different sessions. All right, folks, it's now on you. If Mom gets coffee, it's only because more people have subbed. Subbed. Sub so mom can have coffee. With your assistance, I can complete the modifications quickly. Okay, it is changing back and forth. All right, let's see what we got here. Opinions. Do you guys like the exclamation points to know what you're doing next, or do you prefer to use mini maps and circles and stuff? Well, obviously not. The mini maps is not showing. Perform satellite updates. Good. Now that we have a working array, our next step will be initiating the new security protocols. Hold on. Are you seeing this? The long-range sensors just lit up like a Dabo table. Reading a massive energy surge. We're being scanned. Something's overriding all our control systems, attempting to bypass. Shields up. Oops, my shields are definitely not up. Well, that's interesting. Hopefully our inertial dampeners were working. Otherwise, we just took a bad amount of damage to our people. Oh, that was unpleasant. Still, there are no damage reports, no casualties. And again, the voicing just changed. Very interesting. Scanning. Hmm. This is unexpected. According to Astrometrics, we were catapulted several hundred light years from Trellis to the Excalbia system. Excalbia? There's some facts to go along with those legends. In the 23rd century, Excalbians abducted the USS Enterprise and subjected some of her crew to a series of combats. Some sort of morality test. Feels that way to me. I doubt they dragged us all the way out here to have a wreck to Gino and talk about baseball. There's one way to find out for sure. Hail them and see what they want. I can boost the signal once the ship is in a standard orbit. Assuming the Excalbians are in a talking mood, we should have answers soon. Ah, oh, we're back to having our lovely little circles. That does not look like a pleasant little planet. Oh, while we're moving into range, let's see. <laughs> Have fun with your mom pie. Say hi for me. We are receiving your signal. On behalf of the Excalbian people, I bid you welcome. 
Yes, I suppose that would be a bit of a surprise. You'll pardon me for that, I hope. Some time ago, I met and fought beside one of your own, Captain James Kirk. Under the circumstances, we felt seeing a familiar face would make this meeting go a little smoother. Okay. Kirk was on the planet, and they selected Lincoln because of Kirk's fascination with history. Is Seven of Nine a historian? Hi there, Phoebe. Phoebe has come in from the outside to join us. Wouldn't they have picked somebody from her memory, somebody that she associates with? But that's just me. That is a complicated matter, I'm afraid. I think it would be easier to discuss it face to face. We prepared a meeting ground on the surface of Excalbia. It meets your needs for atmosphere and climate, as I understand them. Will you join us there? And let's get even pickier. We should pick somebody from my history. And I'm not a human. I'm a Kaitian. So we should have one of our giant kitty cats down there. But no. Kitty cats of fame. Famous kitty cats in history? Welcome, friends. I do hope the local climate is to your liking. The climate's fine. It's our abduction that we have a problem with, friend. My apologies. It was not an action of my choosing, I can assure you. Oh yes, wonderful rock creatures. Your presence is required for a matter of great importance. Greater than conversations with dead presidents? Long ago, the two of us were involved in a study, if you will. An evaluation of two concepts, good and evil. The initial results were ultimately inconclusive. The debate has continued since that time. We now seek a final resolution. What does that have to do with us, exactly? You have been chosen as advocates for the concept of good. But you will not face it alone. Hello. Looks like we have a lot of work to do here. That's putting it mildly. Did I miss something? How do they know who she is? <clears throat> you have questions. I will attempt in this trial. You will be accompanied by associates that we have created for you. You will confront a variety of situations in opposition to evil forces. Your actions will be judged, as will those of your opponents. The prevailing concept will guide us as a people. We shall pursue the virtues of good, or the vices of evil. We find violent conflicts produce pure examples of good and evil. They provide the best results to evaluate and judge. Failure to participate will be seen as your endorsement of the supremacy of evil. The trial will then conclude with a judgment in favor of evil and our subsequent pursuit of the concept as a guiding principle. Boy, am I going to argue that uh, <clears throat> violence is the easiest or the best way to test good versus evil. Because in a fight, you do what you have to do to win. If you just yield to your moral code, you lose most of the time. Proceed through the portal behind me when you are prepared. I mean, it's nice to feel good about sticking to your guns, but if you're sticking to your guns, means your family gets killed. Yeah, I don't know that that's a victory. For now, I say we play their game and stay in one piece. Look for opportunities to swing things in our favor. Our new teammate here might have some insight into the situation as well. Michael Burnham of the USS Discovery. Judging by your uniforms, I'd say I'm in the future. The last thing I remember was preparing for battle with my crew, and the crew of the Enterprise. Since we're having this discussion, I'm guessing we won that fight. My apologies, my memory is a bit fuzzy. Possibly a side effect of whatever brought me here. Over 150 years. Fascinating. Right. I'll catch up later. Assuming we get through this trial in one piece. To address your original question. I wish I had all the answers, but I know as much as you do. 
Going through this trial will give us the chance to conduct some tests of our own. Learn more about them and the situation here. Take heart, my friend. Yarnik has a forceful personality. But his voice is not the only one heard here. There are many ex calbians who would embrace virtues before vices. Well, and that well leads... Said. And as one of your allies here, I have a warning for you. The trials are drawn from your... ...to test your responses and those of your opponents. Expect the unexpected. Please, accompany me. Well, we know that Lincoln was an image created by the Excalbians in the TOS one. It wasn't obviously Lincoln, it was just an image. So is Burnham just an image? We met Seven of Nine in the beginning of the episode before this happened. So we know she's real. That portal, Do we need to care about them then? Awaits. Can we sacrifice them? Ooh, oh, I don't know where this is. Class M tropical biome. By the look of things, this world is under attack. This is a safe position for now, but that could change soon. We need to get to cover fast. I see a plaza ahead. Any casualties? Enemy forces may be in the area. Let's see what I'm playing with for weapons. I think I have my machine gun with me. I... Yeah, maybe we're going to change that one out. See if I've got something more fun than that. Facers. Let's have facers for backup. Okay. All right. This is actually one of my favorite missions because I love the three dimensionality of it. Some of the bodies are still warm. When did this take place? Originally. I don't recognize the uniforms on these Vulcans. Romulans. <laughs> You're serious. Those are Romulans. This is a lot to take in. The Romulans are. I clearly have a lot of catching up to do. But the middle of a war zone isn't an ideal place for a history lesson. These Romulans are Tal Shiar, members of a covert military intelligence force. The list of enemies isn't long. Any number of them could be responsible for this attack. All right, let's go scan some people. This one was killed by heavy plasma weaponry. Strange. I'm also reading trace amounts of several exotic particles in the area. Anti-proton, tachyon. Whoever else was in this fight used some extremely advanced weapons. That makes sense. The Iconians were allies of the Tal Shiar at this time. They were probably fighting at their side. This may be one of the unexpected changes Lincoln warned us about. Iconians arriving here early. All right, what do we do next? We need to explore the plaza. Some kind of constructs. They're using anti-proton weapons. Heralds. Machine guns are nice and effective. Always good to have a machine gun with you. We got a force field of some sort here. Those were Iconians? Heralds are augmented servants of the Iconians. They were used primarily as shock troops. They've encountered them before, but if they're here now, things are worse than expected. There's a tactical force field blocking our way. That looks like the emitter over there. It should be simple enough to destroy it. Well, I managed to destroy it without even trying, so who knows where that one was? LCR and Heralds fighting Riemann combat squads. Wonderful. So, these Riemanns, they're on our side. Good to know. Should have brought my Riemann tune with me. You there. I would speak with you. <coughs> Your time sec. is fortuitous, my old friend. My resistance forces are closing in on Hakiv's laboratory, but he has opened an Iconian gate. The Iconians have sent their minions to aid Hakiv, but all is not lost. We can still stop them. The lab is not far from here. If we can fight our way past the guards, 
we can put an end to all this. And Hakeem. Excalbians? No, Iconians. Hakeem has brought them here. They're putting up quite a fight. I'll need all the help I can get to stop him. Will you help us? All right, so Looks same like premise. People in the situation away. don't seem to know what's this going on. He really doesn't want to be interrupted, does he? It may not be in an obvious place. Check the nearby buildings and rooftops. All right. So we've got a force field up again. Unless we can knock that down. I see. Here's the generator. Excellent. Hakeem has holed up in the south like the cornered vermin he is. Once we're near his position, I can set up a jamming field to prevent him from beaming out. Then we can bring him to justice. At you might be able to block transporters, Obasek, but I doubt you can block a functional Iconian gate. As long as that remains open, Hakeem will be able to escape. Deal with the gate first, then you can talk about justice all you want. was interesting. Well, I heard somebody join us there. Let me... Oops, no, that's not what I wanted. Madman of War. Very nice. Good morning, Madman of War. How are you today? Or good afternoon? Wherever you are. See, did I miss one up there? Them all? All right, let's see where we need to go. He said he was attacking in the south. Let's see if we can get down here. Yes, this is my first playthrough, so if you've done this before, let's use a flaily bubble. Oopsie! Edgardo, come help me! Come help me, Edgardo! Come on! Over here, sweetie! Nope! Okay, respawn. Oh well, that was a good attempt. Pride goeth before fall, as they say. Interesting. For a moment, my uh, Romulans got a benefit from the solar gateway. That's that's interesting. It happened twice, so I don't know if that was intentional. Warfare is a trial of good versus evil. Warfare is not a trial of good versus evil. Can you get the fleet engineering console that'll give you 105 power transfer, please? Which fleet console is that? If you're asking if you can have an invitation to the fleet uh, base, that's fine. So good of you to join For, I'm assuming you're not in our fleet. If you are in our fleet, I apologize that I don't recognize your name. That was very evil of me. He's standing right there.
No. You think you've stopped me? The Iconians already know. They know everything. everything. I don't care. Blood calls for blood, Hakim. No, not like this. You're better than this. If you do this, it won't be justice. It'll be murder. You don't have to do this. He must pay for what he's done. Oh, come on. I'm shooting like a stormtrooper. Obasek's in bad shape. He needs field surgery. Or he's not going to make it. I can't do this alone. I need your help to save him. He keeps getting away. If he leaves through a gateway, he could return with enough Iconians to finish us off. Do you want to pursue him? Yeah, we have to save Obasek just because he's our friend. But the thing is, there's one, two, three, four of us. How many people do you need to save Obasek? Four? No. Rest easy, friends. This part of the trial has reached its conclusion. There's a portal nearby. Use it to return to Yarnak. He wishes to review the results of the trial. Lippity leap. Ooh. That's interesting. <clears throat> And back to Yarnik. To save Obasek's life. Because of this, Akiva escapes and convinces the Iconians to pursue a scorched birth assault on their enemies. Millions more die in the following war as a result. An intriguing choice, to be sure. To callously leave an ally to die upon the battlefield is not the mark of a strong soul. Saving the life of a comrade in the fight against evil was a brave and noble act. One worthy of praise rather than scorn. Trial <clears throat> continues. Proceed through the nearby portal when you are ready to begin the next evaluation. Come this way for your next trial. Again, I would argue that in a real situation where you know it's not a simulation, you might act differently. So it's not Any a good test of morality or what people do. Yes, some of this tech is very advanced, most likely from the future. Anorex was heavily modified after a scientist named Noy stole it from Kiana Station. All right, let's see what we're up against. Damage control teams. This shit's been a long fight. <coughs> this looks like some kind of command station. Enemy. Secure the area. You might be able to find useful data here. So just some backstory there. More backstory. My plan to recruit Admiral Lita to the temple. More backstory. The petty squabbles over More the backstory. Funny, I've been to Procyon 5. It's unremarkable. In our time at least. Looks like things change considerably in the oh, next. Oh, not Procyon Five! Not Procyon Five! 
By now, we've been detected by their security systems. And I'd rather not be around when they send combat teams to retake the bridge. There's a turbo lift down this way. Fire from Sompek. Oh, well. I saw the gateway was a little unnecessary overkill. This door here. I'm detecting a massive buildup of temporal energy ahead. Yeah, along with multiple life forms, all armed. What a surprise! Multiple life forms, all armed. Set the Denver on him. Get him, boy! Get him! That wasn't too surprising. <laughs> nice try. But you're done here. Yes, we have. I see him. Noise on the upper platform. Of course he is. Noise always on the upper platform. Because he loves to drive me crazy by being on the upper platform. Oh, I guess I'm not going over there. Okay. Do we have another staircase around here? Nope, gotta get over there then. Wow, that's weird. Some walls in here I wasn't expecting. Waste time as you see fit, Vernon. It will be for naught. Hmm, that's interesting. My flaily bubble does not want to engage, and neither does the agony field generator. It's taking three or four hits, which I presume is my keyboard and not the game. I do kill my keyboards relatively History quickly. Shows you have a habit of meddling in the affairs of others. We believe it is time to break you of that habit. Ardo, where'd you go? There you go, sweetie. I like it, Gardo. I like that he's a hologram, but when he dies, he's hard to find sometimes. sure everybody's up to snuff before we go into a battle. Oh, Errol. The dog barking in the moment is Errol, who's out back on a Sunday morning barking because he's Errol. Here to parlay? Or shall we just start shooting at one another? I can deal with the shooting. You. Apparently Daniels hasn't grown weary of plucking you out of time and sending you to vex me. How many times have I killed you now? Four? Five? 
Honestly, I've lost count. It doesn't matter. Before I kill you, again, understand this. After today, the Alliance ends forever, and you with it. Daniels won't be around to save you this time. I will fight this battle again and again until I stand victorious. I understand the need to bring back the ones we've lost. Living in the past, we exercise and keep telling you. Be defeated. I control time itself. I do love pounds. It's a, it's a lovely little feature. Deep, but wasted on Noi. His grief blinds him to things like logic and truth. Yeah. I'm so close. I won't let you win. Don't have to do this. How, how can this be? You, you were lost. I'm here now, husband. Shapeshifter? Cloud. Because this war needed to end, Noi. Before it consumed us all. Okay, that's interesting. Noi was a danger to all life, even in the Dominion. I could no longer sit back and watch as the Alliance failed to stop time and time again. So, I have done what you could not. Now, we must destroy this vessel, so it can never be used again. Let us end this war, once and for all. She's got a point. Without Noi, without Anorex, the TLF will not... Yes, Jason, this is one of the new episodes. I haven't played them through yet. Maybe there'll be a chance at a lasting peace this time. Stranger things have happened. The situation could have been avoided. He was finished. You didn't need to execute him. Maybe. Maybe we can still do this the right way. This is a time ship. We should be able to generate a localized temporal spike and send ourselves back to a point before this whole situation goes too far. 
Let's finish this without resulting to cold-blooded murder. No. He'll just come back over and over and over and over. And I guess that's all that happens. We are done. Start the self-destruct. All right, speak with the female changeling again. You have chosen wisely. I am pleasantly surprised. I have much to discuss with the leaders of the Alliance. Steps must be taken to protect the timeline from criminals like Noe. For you, the war is over. Return to your ships. I suspect we shall meet again in due time. I believe that will be enough for this trial, my friends. Okay. Well, so much for that one. Let's there we go. And out we go. In loving the murder of Toy, you made him a martyr for his cause, and the temporal war continues. Toy's followers go on to destroy the homeworlds of every Alliance member in antiquity. With no opposition, they become the dominant force throughout space and up. The loss of Noi was tragic to be certain. But the risk of losing countless more to temporal manipulation... Now, do they have break. different... Uh, I haven't Madness played this on any other ones yet, so if you choose the other way, do you get different uh, responses here? To many a world. Bringing an end to that insanity was a mercy. Your participation in the trial has been informative thus far, but we require more data to make Beefy, our decision. you can go out. Another scenario has been prepared. Enter the portal when you are ready to begin. This way. Beefy, you can go out. Look, you know where the door are? is open. There you go. I know where we are, I just don't know when. Knowing that's gonna make all the difference here, believe me. Let's take a look at those consoles and see if there's any useful information in there. Science officer's log. He saw four on the test site for section one's Some more backstory. This is a recent entry, but the area is deserted. Science officer's log. More. Everything matches. Do you have a question? Oh, it's the stupid AI thing. Okay, fine. We were so close to this. To failure. To death. We need to set up the phase discriminators at that console. Good. Now we need to prepare the stasis beams at that console. So far, so good. We need to use hmm. that console to prime the EMP next. So this is the Shatter Dome of the future? Okay, why can't we move? There we go. I hope you all got the Shatter Dome reference. Hi, Mucin. Thanks, Mucin. I kind of suspected there might be alternates, which is nice. They don't always do that in Trek. Sometimes you get to walk through different scenarios, but it all comes out to the same endpoint, which I'm sure this will, too. But it's nice to know we're going to probably get different responses. We've set up the trap. Now all it needs is the bait. Me. 
You'll need to go back to the previous room, close the door, and turn off the vents. Yes. Assuming things go as they did before, the Red Angel will appear in time to save my life. When that happens, activate the trap. Or we could just leave you to die. Is that one of our options? Yeah, no, I really didn't like Discovery. <laughs> Done all I can with these ancient phase discriminators. We should have the power we need for this little stuff. But we're only getting one shot, so make it count. No pressure. Well, it's not real. Of course there's no pressure. Right. Do it. Though I will say that I really like what they've done with the uh, visuals on the characters. Two. Wait, abort! Do not engage. Taking up a massive surge of tachyon radiation. She's here. Do it. Do it now. Activate the phase discriminators. You know that Red Angel reminds me a little bit of um, Abel 2.0 in Trinity Blood. What are you doing? We don't have time for this. Discovery is gone. We have to deal with it ourselves. We have to stop control now, or it all ends. And now we have two burn-ups. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get the feeling you were expecting someone else in that suit, Commander. Yes. My mother. She designed the suit with my father. And used it to escape a Klingon attack. In doing so, she learned how control ended all life in the future. After that, she used the suit to try and stop that from happening. Clearly, in this reality, that task has fallen to me. Transfer the sphere data to my suit so I can take it into the future, where Control can never find it. We need to act fast. Control is on its way here now. This needs to happen before it arrives. I think... One of the issues I'm having with this is, since these are all scenarios presented by Yarnik, I know they're not real. My tune should know they're not real. Therefore, their actions are not based in reality. This is a game. How? The sensor log said Discovery went down with all hands. Struggle is pointless. Controls using members of Discovery's crew as shock troops. Where's Lorca? I don't remember killing Lorca. If I leave the field, I'll return to the future. You'll have to fight Control without me. Control can't be killed with regular weapons. You need to do something unconventional. Try oh. to magnetize the floor. It'll disrupt it. Weaken it and lure it to me. I'll distract it while you give it a magnetic shock. It'll take several shocks to finish it for good. It's weakened! Lead it to the platform! I've got its attention! Quick! Magnetize the floor!
So how does magnetizing the floor defeat it? One more shock should finish it off. That's a pain. Gardo's dead. I'm dead. Let's respawn. is using nanites to take over the future version of me. If that happens, it'll gain access to the sphere data. I can try to inoculate future Burnham with my own nanites. This should prevent Control from accessing the sphere data through her, but it'll... Too risky. The suit could wind up trapped here. Given time, Control could find a way to access the sphere data. We need to think about destroying the data. Purge it from the suit before Control can access it. I could do that, but losing that data? All of that knowledge gone forever. Consider this. The means of eliminating control could be held within the sphere data as well. Deleting it could be a fatal mistake. Delete it. Get ready. Knowledge isn't Let's lost stay. forever. A lot. It's just lost for the moment. Do it. That's a little more than a damn sting. Well, that's interesting. The best on fence? Okay. She's dead. It's worse than that. She's dead. Jim, dead. Jim, dead. Jim. Moving it must have been too much for her. I just watched myself die. That's the way it when goes when you're doing the imaginary the scenarios. At the end, before it beamed out. I think what was left of control merged with some of my nanites. Yeah, and now there's a Borg control hybrid version of me running loose somewhere. Whatever the Excalbians are doing, needs to this stop. is a scenario. This isn't real necessarily. If this is real, it's a whole Rest different thing. Easy. The trial of Esau Four has come to an end. Oh, goody. My apologies, friends. These events must have taken a heavy toll upon all of you. We should return to speak with Yarnik now. Let us come along, my friends. How quickly you extinguished a wealth of knowledge. And to what end? Your decision to eliminate the data also claimed the life of the Red Angel. 
control continues to exist, and the fate you sought to prevent will still come to pass. Preventing control from gaining access to the sphere data was a just and necessary action, despite the cost. While the entity continues to exist, it is vulnerable. Precious time was purchased this day. Time that, God willing, will allow brave souls to find a way to stop control and bring an end to its inhuman march of destruction. I have my concerns regarding this trial. Yarnik isn't a very impartial judge, and he's clearly a prominent figure in Excalvian society. If his opinion of our actions continues downward, the situation could become volatile in a hurry. Still, it could be worse. We still have time to present our case here. Hopefully we will win some Excalvian hearts and minds in the process. I have been informed that Yarnik and the others wish to privately discuss the results of the trials. <laughs> you are free to return to your vessel, or remain here until the recess reaches its conclusion. Once that happens, you will be summoned to continue the trial. How would you like to proceed? As much as I'd like to see what a ship of this time period is like, I feel like we should stay here. We might have the opportunity to speak with Excalvians other than Yarnak and see what they think of all this. I'm not as optimistic as Commander Burnham when it comes to the Excalvians. Returning to the ship has its benefits. I could use a drink. <laughs> Several, actually. I leave the decision to you. Well, in that case, Seven, because we trust you, we could all use a drink, but in my case it happens to be coffee. I do like that they split this into two parts. So I'm sure we'll discuss this in greater detail on our next evening one, but if they're trying to say that somehow Yarnick's um, uh, scenarios are presentations of the in real time, that's interesting. Just say to yourself, it's not Star Trek and just watch it as a normal show. It's better that way. It, it, right, it's not Star Trek, Jason, but it's still not better. It's really not well done. It's really, really not well done. But that's because I'm trying to use logic and reason. Yes, Jason, it is a good idea. Getting coffee is a good idea. Um, I'm not fond of the Discovery, or Kill Discovery crew, yeah. I haven't gotten to kill Lorca yet, but I got to kill Tilly and, um, what's her name? The other one I don't care for very much. I do like Achille, however. I think Achille's kind of fun in the uh, version that they've done here. It's played for a good character. Just like I prefer Lita, Hollow, or sorry, Admiral Lita to Lita Lita more in depth, but I think that might be true of a lot of, quote, evil characters. All right, guys, I think we're going to leave it at that for today. We'll hit episode number two, um, either later today or tomorrow morning. So I get the presidential hand axe. Wow, that sounds awesome. I'll come back and get part two a little bit later. So I'm going to log off for now. I'll be back either later today to hit part two, depending on how the puppy bowl goes. Since I have to go bake cookies and do real things and hit the gym and have a life before tomorrow. Hope everyone has a great day. Um, I don't care which team you're voting for, Team Rough or Team Tough. They're both awesomely cute. Have a great morning, and we'll see you a little bit later. Take care, and thanks for joining me. Bye. Let's find the exit video now. Exit video. Dun, 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 dun.